look. Do you want to look this cute too? I'm Velveteen Habit. That's my drag name. I'm going to clue you in on my secrets. Secret number one. You want to think of Halloween or putting together your Halloween costume as putting together your look for a RuPaul's Drag Race Runway Challenge. And if you've never seen Drag Race, it's a great place for some inspiration and you can catch old seasons on Hulu or you can catch the current seasons of Drag Race UK and Canada on WOW Presents Plus. I'll put that info in the description box in case you're interested. You want to pretend that the Drag Race runway theme is Disney villains and that you're doing Cruella. You want to put together a look where you look amazing on the runway inspired by Cruella rather than looking exactly like Cruella or whoever you're dressing up as. You don't have to dress up as Cruella. together a costume that looks exactly like Cruella or Maleficent or whoever it is that you're dressing up as. Put together a costume that embodies that spirit and makes a drag version of the character. Think about it that way. So we all get to participate in drag on Halloween and how fun is that? Dalmatian puppies. Puppies. <laughs> number two is I like to make costumes out of real clothes. As often as possible, the bulk of my costume is real, actual clothes. Bonus points if those clothes are comfortable, and even more bonus points if it's stuff you could wear again. So I picked up these pieces from Mod Cloth this year for my Cruella costume. I just scrolled the site and looked for things that kind of embodied that Cruella spirit, right? So I thought, oh, black and white stripes, that's good. This black Halloween-y top, it works. Cruella's a fashion-y, evil person. So I just kind of bought fun stuff that went with that vibe. You can also shop your house, right? So look through your closet for things that have that vibe. When you're choosing the clothes, don't choose what looks the most like what your character wears. Choose something that you are excited to wear that helps you embody whatever it is you want to embody from your character. You should be choosing stuff that you are excited to wear. Do you remember what it's like to look forward to wearing your costume? Every part of your costume should be something that's fun. Secret number three, incorporate a jacket. Halloween can be cold because it's at the end of October. So it's always a good idea to include layers in your outfit. This jacket is one that I've had since I was 12. I picked it up in London. The stitching is messed up. It's hard to put on, but I love it. It's my drag jacket. And I love trying to find times to wear it. So when you're picking up pieces for your Halloween costume, Think about picking up pieces that you'll be excited to build a costume around, that you'll be excited to get the opportunity to wear. Secret number four. It's, it's not cold right now. Go all out with accessories, makeup, all the little finishing touches. When it gets near to the time that I'm going to be dressing up, I start thinking about things like my manicure and my pedicure, and I'll pick colors that go with the vibe of my character, but that I am happy to wear anyway. That way the whole month of October, if you're wearing these little accessories and you have your nails and your toes, the, the color of your costume, you'll be feeling that vibe and feel excited and have that bit of fun in your life. 
I have not decided yet which set of nails to wear for my Cruella costume. It's between these two. What do you think? I think either one is gonna go really well with that Cruella vibe. The accessories that you pick up should be things that you, just like the clothes, are excited to wear. So I found this Dalmatian-y headband and it's something I've worn several times. And every time I wear it, I feel a little bit of that Cruella vibe, which is a really fun thing. So if you get little accessories and you can find ways to wear them throughout the year or throughout the month, you get to feel that essence of your costume, that little bit of fun Halloweeniness. That little bit of drag more often than just the one day that you wear your costume. Also, if there's accessories you pick up, like these from my Maleficent costume, that you love, instead of just using them once and getting rid of them, what you can do is put them on display in your home. I have a few little things like that around and it reminds me of that fun Maleficent costume that I wore and I just love looking at it. I looked so hot as Maleficent, didn't I? Ugh. So choose things that you love so much that you're gonna wanna wear them constantly and you want them on display in your home. Choose stuff you love that makes you excited. If you're not excited about it, I think you're doing it wrong. Secret number five, plan ahead or don't. Either way is good. Think of your Halloween costume as a drag race runway challenge. All right, so you have time and material constraints, just like the queens on the show. You have however long you have, you have whatever budget you have, you have whatever supplies are in your home already, right? And you have to put together your best look. So if you're going out tomorrow and you haven't started yet, it's a great challenge. And if you have lots of time, you have time to look and find little pieces that make you excited. So either way is fine. There's no right way to do this. Either plan ahead or don't. It's up to you. But the most important part of having a Halloween costume you love wearing is just that you have fun with it. All right, so think of it all as a challenge. Buy things that you love, you're excited to wear, embody the essence of your character, and just have a great time. You will look awesome if you feel awesome. So wear stuff that makes you feel confident that you're excited about, and go out and have the best Halloween. And don't stop there. You can dress up any time of year. Thank you for watching. No puppies were harmed in the making of this video. Halloween is that one time of year when us druggles, uh, that's not a real world, I made it up. It's like muggles, but for like non-drag queen folk, you know? Maybe I'll delete that. Okay. okay.